Hi and welcome back and congratulations on purchasing your domain name. If you have not yet purchased your domain name, this, uh, this final step here is going to be a little bit fruitless for you. So please make sure that on step three that you did go ahead and go to uh, GoDaddy or some other place to buy a domain name. Um, at this point we're assuming that you do have one and that you're watching the video right here on this page and um, away we go. Now one of the things that you're going to notice below the video that you're watching right now is you're going to see your domain forwarding URL is and then we gave you a, a URL here. We're going to go ahead and use this. So we jump over to, uh, to um, GoDaddy right now and I've already logged in up here at the top where it says log out. There'll currently be a uh, login button for you. Uh, once you purchase your domain name, you should have received an email from GoDaddy that gave you your account, um, I believe it's called an account ID. It's a numeric number. That's your, basically it's your GoDaddy account number. And with that, you're able to log in. They also should have given you a password. Um, you may have to change your password the first time you log in. But other than that, once you log in, which I am currently right now, we're going to show you how to find this. Now keep in mind I'm on an account that has several domain names under its control. You will have one domain name and that's the one you just purchased. And so what you want to do is after you've logged in, um, it, you'll see your username over here. Apologize for the blurring out. Um, but you want to pull this down and you want to go to visit my account. The gray button here at the top. Okay, now once you pull that up, what you're going to click on is you're going to click and expand where it says domains. Again, I explained um, there's quite a few domains here. So I'm going to look for, you're only going to have one. So, so for example, the top one here, you're only going to see one domain name. And um, it'll, it'll be the one that you just chose here in the, in the previous step in this video. And then you're going to click the launch button next to it. Okay, so I went ahead and clicked the launch button and I'm now here on my supereasyblogs.com site. And uh, this is the one I'm setting up for myself. Yours is obviously differently named. And what we want to do is we want to come down to the only thing that you have to worry about here is where it says, it's going to highlight everything, the word forwarding here. This is what we're looking for. Okay, so let's take a quick detour back over to Rich Janitor and we're going to grab the forwarding domain URL in here. We're going to copy everything in this little box. We're going to right click and choose copy. Okay, and once you've highlighted it, you right click and choose copy. We're going to come back over to our domain control here. And the, for the forwarding, we want to click on, uh, you probably won't have anything here. I already have our setup. You want to go ahead and click on manage. Okay, and when this comes up, um, I'm going to click update forwarding. And so right now the HTTP colon slash slash is already in there. You don't have to change that. You don't have to do anything to it. What you're going to do, there was going to be nothing here basically when you come to yours. We're going to press, we're going to right click and paste. And that's pasting in the thing that we copied from over here. And the rest of the information you're going to leave alone. And just to make sure, just in case you click something, it should be, uh, the blue dot should be next to the 301 permanent here. The forward settings should be forward only. And the check mark should be down here on the bottom. And then all you have to do is click save or edit. I'm editing in my, in my case. And, and again, save here. And that's it. Okay, so what this is going to do now, as I explained before in the previous video, is um, when someone comes to your domain, it's actually going to redirect them to this domain here on the Rich Janitor. And that's where we pick that most popular product from the ClickBank category that you chose earlier. And then we forward them on to that site along with your affiliate ID, your username from ClickBank. And when someone purchases, if someone purchases that product, you get a commission for that. So your domain name is actually just acting as a forwarder which is great, but we're doing all the work for you and you're reaping all the benefits. Okay, once you're finished with that um, and you've updated your forwarding here, you can go ahead and close your GoDaddy account, close that down. Um, I will warn you that it does take anywhere between 12 
to sometimes as long as 48 hours for that request to actually start forwarding your domain onto the Rich Janitor site. Now, that's pretty much all you have to do. You're just going to have to wait on those guys. Um, if it goes beyond 48 hours, you might want to put a call in. Other than that, um, it's going to... Um, it's going to go ahead and forward on and your website's going to start pointing to those most popular clickbank product categories so i thank you for watching and i hope this has been very simple and look for more video segments and take care